So today we're taking a look at the C-sized battery wand to power our motorized products from Hunter Douglas. Wow, this is great. We've got 10 C-sized batteries that'll fit into this wand that'll actually mount into the window opening. When I look at this wand, there's a sticker on one end and I have to realize there is an upper end and a bottom end. Up and bottom, up and down, top and bottom. Um, up and down is what we're going to go with. The sticker here occurs on the bottom end or the down end. And you can see there's a, a, a lock feature here that looks like I twist this end feature off to put the batteries in. What I have to understand is there's this steel feature going up the back of my C size battery wand. So what I want to do with that steel feature when I receive it is just slide it to, towards the cap end. So the removable cap end there, this then slides out and it's held on the opposite end. It just tucks into that feature there. It is the contact that makes the contact from the bottom of the batteries here to the top of the batteries out the barrel plug connector. So if we're looking at this, this again is the down portion or bottom. The barrel end is the top. If I look at the bracket here that is also the conductor, it says up on it, so I know which ends which. The notch would go at the bottom end where the cap goes. So now I've got my steel feature removed. I can easily twist and unlock the cap, and it just does twist right off the end here. Just take it, twist it, out it comes, and go ahead and insert my, my batteries here. So I'm going to go ahead and start inserting batteries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And what's cool about this battery wand is I can put the ten batteries in, lock the batteries into place, and then come along the back where the steel feature covers it up and see if my batteries are all going in the same direction. It would be bad news to get a battery going in the wrong direction. So I can see that once they're inserted. Okay, cool. Now what I'm going to do is mount the steel feature and I can mount it to the window sill. I can mount it vertically in the window and this is kind of hard to see because of the size of this wand under the camera but the up portion goes in the portion with the tab here. The screw on portion goes down here so when I reinsert the steel feature here I shove it in that end while holding it down in between the two features of this end. Now that steel feature is secured. Now, what I'm really going to do in a home is I'm going to mount this guy to a wall surface. Well, Rob, do you have a wall surface? Yes, I do. This is my window feature here. The top portion of the window here is in the direction of the up. So what I can do with this steel wand, this steel feature here, is I can put it right at the bottom edge of the window so that when I bring my battery wand into place here and my barrel connector is, goes along with the up feature here, I'm going to take my wand here and line it up. Again, this still being up, I'm just trying to show you this under the camera here, but I'm lining up both the wand fitting into this feature here and the two features of the plastic fitting in between the features here of the wand. It rolls on and once I get it located it slides on to that bracket. Slides onto the bracket. Now I'm secure to the surface and I've got a connection going across. I can then plug my power source in and power my shade. This is in the vertical position. Again, the bottom can go right against the bottom and that wand ends up right at the bottom of the window. And that's taking a look at the C-size battery wand for Hunter Douglas Powered Products.